the Netherlands won the Betway World Cup of Darts for a record equaling fourth time as Michael van Gerwen and Raymond van Barneveld defeated Scotland's Gary Anderson and Peter Wright 3-1 in Sunday's final in Frankfurt. The Dutch duo retained their crown in emphatic style, easing past Gibraltar and South Africa without losing a leg in the opening two rounds to make it through to the last day of action at the ice's fourth ale. Their title bid continued with a 2-0 quarterfinal win over hosts Germany, before defeating Belgium 2-0 in the last four and then overcoming Scotland in the first ever final between the two nations. I think we played a phenomenal game through the whole tournament, said Van Gerwen. Any tournament you compete in you want to win, but playing alongside Raymond for our country makes it extra special. We did the right things at the right moments and that's what made us champions. Van Gerwen got the Netherlands off to a flying start in the opening game of the final, hitting finishes of 143 and 112 in his 4-2 win over Peter Wright to give the Dutchman an early advantage. Anderson wasted no time in leveling the tie, firing in five maximums en route to an emphatic 4-1 defeat of Van Barneveld to make it all square going into the doubles. The Dutch duo blew the Scots away 4-1 in the doubles with another impressive display, featuring a magnificent 135 checkout from Van Barneveld to put the Netherlands within a point of glory. Van Gerwen sealed the title for the Netherlands with a 4-0 whitewash of Anderson, with the world number one posting a 111.33 average to retain the World Cup. Playing alongside the best player in the world is always a pleasure, said World Cup ever present Van Barneveld. It was a tough game against Geary, he played amazing and hit five 180s and I didn't have much time to recover for the doubles. I managed to get it together and we played a great doubles match to really get hold of the match, and then Michael finished the job for us. It was amazing to win this title again, Scotland's run to the final was their best finish in the tournament since 2015, as they saw off the United States of America, Brazil, Japan and Australia to reach their second ever final. It was a shame we came up short in the final, but I think we can be proud of how we played in the tournament, said Anderson. Maybe next year we can go one better, but fair play to Michael and Raymond they deserved to win this time. The Scottish pair suffered a shock first round exits at the hands of Singapore in last year's event, but bounced back with a strong display this year. I love playing in front of this amazing crowd, said Wright. It's been fantastic playing alongside Gary, we've really enjoyed it. The trophy should have been ours but we'll have to make sure we come back stronger next year and not make the same mistakes. Belgium's Kim Hybrex and debutante Dimitri van den Berg lit up the stage in Frankfurt as they recorded a dramatic win over the Republic of Ireland in round one, before seeing off Finland and England to reach the semi-finals for a second consecutive year. It's been an amazing experience, said van den Berg. Kim and myself gave it 100% all the way through, so I can't be too disappointed that we didn't make the final. It's been another fantastic run in a big tournament for me, all my hours of practice are starting to pay off on TV but there is much more to come from me. Fellow semi-finalists Australia, made up of Simon Whitlock and Kyle Anderson, produced strong performances throughout the tournament, defeating Hong Kong, Spain and Wales on their way to the Final Four. Hosts Germany also enjoyed success in this year's event, as Max Hopp and Martin Schindler beat Sweden in their opening game, and followed it up with a dramatic win over Northern Ireland to reach the last eight. Despite the backing of their home crowd, they were unable to end the Netherlands' charge in the last eight, despite Schindler averaging 110 in his 4-1 singles defeat to Van Gerwen. I'm very proud that we reached the quarterfinals again and I had a lot of fun on the stage and gained more experience, said Schindler, the support of the German crowd was awesome. Playing in front of your home crowd is a huge advantage and we are very thankful for every German fan that came to the venue. Darts in Germany is growing and growing. I am happy to be part of it, Japan's Sego Asada and Haruki Muramatsu were the surprise package in the tournament, reaching their first quarterfinal in five years, while last year's finalists Wales also saw their bid for a first World Cup title end at the last eighth stage. 
four-time winners England fielded a new-look pairing of Dave Chisnell and world champion Rob Cross, but saw their bid for a fifth title halted by Belgium in the quarter-finals. 2018 Betway World Cup of Darts Sunday June 3rd Afternoon Session Quarter-Final Scotland v Japan Singles 1 Peter Wright 4-0 Sago Asada Singles 2 Gary Anderson 4-0 Haruki Muramatsu Doubles Scotland v Japan Not Needed Final Result Scotland 2-0 Japan Australia v Wales Singles 1 Simon Whitlock 4-2 Jerwin Price Singles 2 Kyle Anderson 0-4 Johnny Clayton Doubles Australia 4-1 Wales Final Result Australia 2-1 Wales